What's up, everyone? This is Captain Soban. Welcome aboard the um, Starship Enormal Prize. <laughs> Still gotta get used to saying that. Um, and we're doing another Let's Play of, of Space Engineers today. Okay, so the last two episodes I did, um, I really didn't do a whole lot. The first one, I literally explained like every single option to the game. And the second one, I found a space place to land and built some solar panels on my ship. Or on my lander. Um, and that's it. So... <laughs> Today we're actually going to build something. I'm going to build a little scouting rover so we can use it to go around and find some materials so we can start building other things. And it looks like this thing got a little damage. Um, probably from the landing. I'm not the best lander in the world. Oh well. So, um, first thing we need is to grab some materials so we can make all this stuff. Alright, so... I don't know how many of those we're going to need at the moment. I'll just grab ten. Definitely gonna need a lot of this, so let's grab about a hundred. I think that's all we're gonna need for the moment. And uh, this rover is obviously gonna be battery powered because um, we don't have any uranium to run our nuclear uh, reactors. We have a little bit in our reactor and on our lander, but that's for emergencies. Um, I'm not gonna use that until we actually find some uranium. So anyways, um, let's see, the first thing we are going to need is a lander. Now there's other ways to actually build in these things now, but this is kind of the way I just kind of um, grew up with it. Or not grew up, but started out with it. So first, we're not building a big lander, we need a small lander. So T, no, how do I freaking switch the size? Press number again, to, oh, oh, I forgot they switched that. Okay, so it's not R anymore. Um, doesn't really matter if it's level or not. I guess right here would work. And that should... Yep, now it's locked to the planet. Alright. And now we are going to need um, some of these. And this this uh, thing is going to be temporary, so it's not... This leg's not going to be there permanently. It's just going to be temporary for the moment and I need some hydrogen so I'll be right back alrighty I am back okay so let's um, see the rover is not gonna be too big um, first before I do this because I always make this mistake um, let's figure out what color we want to make it I like green and if you've seen my cataclysm playthrough you've seen my green and blue ships so let's sti let's stick with a dark green I think that'll work fine and yep, let's go to that. Three, four. Um, we need at least three. I think that will be fine for now. It might actually be too wide. <clears throat> so let's go two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That doesn't look too bad for now. Okay. Five, because right there is our middle. All right, so I did two. Ah, oh, not that one. I need that. Okay, so yeah, we're two, two. Okay, and we'll make it all fancy smancy later. Right now, I'm just building the chassis. Okay. No, no! I'm out of hydrogen again. Um. Oh yeah. Time to go get more. Okay, the bottom of our chassis is done now. Alright, so now the next thing we need is um, a cockpit. And I don't think there is a cockpit that has breathable oxygen. I don't know if they have implemented that in yet. Uh, nope, you just have the fighter and the normal. And uh, let's see. This uh, I like the fighter one. The fight, the uh, not the fighter, but the freighter one looks better as a um, rover. Need interior plate. God dang it! All right, I'll be right back once I grab that or make it. Uh. All right, so now we have the cockpit, uh, the blueprint of our cockpit down. Um, next after that is we need some sort of oxygen. Um, I think. No, wait, never mind. I forgot cockpits nowadays have their own inventory, so we can just use um, oxygen bottles for now. Because um, uh, we want to keep this small and light. Because all this, all this is going to be is an exploration vehicle. 
Um, so next what we need is the power supply, I believe. Let's see, we need the battery. Um, which is going to go right there. Good. Um, and now, uh, let, let, let's put a second battery on just to, you know, uh, give it more, um, what's it called? Uh, not life, but, uh, um, ex more, uh, further range. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. Okay, and then we need some sort of connector. That way we can plug this thing into here and charge it. So we need a connector. Um, connector, where are you? There you are. Oh, no! I did that! I always do that. No, go away. Alright, sorry about that. Sometimes I accidentally uh, will put my things down on my bar at the bottom and I'll forget that I have something selected and it'll get rid of it and replace it. Okay. What? Oh. Are you bigger than I thought? Okay. Okay. So now we have our cockpit, so we can sit in our batteries that'll allow us to move, and a connector, which I'll have to build on this, so we can connect up and um, start uh, getting our vehicle charged. Which I'll have to look at that later. That would be a problem when we fall when we uh, get to that area. Okay. I don't need this back one. And now, basically. Um, Let's see, this is just going to be a scouting rover, so I could just get rid of these and just make it very skinny. Or keep it like this, and I guess we'll keep it like this and I'll build a couple rows of cargo so we can put cargo into it whenever we uh, need to do that. Because, I mean, it, this will have a small cargo capacity, it won't be a big one, but um, we'll be able to... Uh, um, like when we find a mine we can fill this thing up and then we'll have to drop it off manually but we'll get it to work. So next I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put the um, the wheels on. So again we go here go to whoops wheel. Actually before we do that I always fall for this. Um, let's go ahead and get everything built put our cargo on and then put our wheels because once I put the wheels on I need to program them in order to work the way we want them to because you can have this set up as four wheel drive, two wheel drive or you know any type of like drivetrain you can think of. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this built it might take a little bit and I'll be right back. Alrighty welcome back okay so now I got the bottom part uh, um, all made except for this here well oh duh I was like, how can I get that when this thing's sticking up? But there is a front face area. Okay, so now we need to get the cockpit going. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put everything I have available. Then I can figure out what I need next. Alright, so we need more steel plate and a lot more other things. Okay, so I will be back whenever I get some more of this stuff done. Alright, so apparently we need another motor in order to um, make our um, uh, our cockpit. So I'm going to go ahead and show you a little bit of how the production thing works. So let's see, this is our assembler. So what I need to do is I need to make some nickel, which I can do with our extra rifles and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in assembler 1. Okay. Um, then we're going to go to production and we're going to switch it over to disassemble because we are taking these apart and giving the materials back. Disassemble all. And I forgot I had the game sped, sped up so that went super super quick. And yeah, so is that enough to actually make what I need? So now we go to assemble, motor, yay we had enough. Awesome. And that's pretty much what you do. Um, you have to have your materials here, or if you have a conveyor system, which this one does, 
you can throw those in the cargo bay and the assembler will fetch it whenever it needs it. So that's what I'm going to do to keep things organized. Alright, I'm going to continue building and be back in a bit. Alright, just about to put the finishing touches on this baby. There we go, the connector is made, battery is made. And that battery's made. Oh right, I forgot the displays on that one. And the computers on that one. Oh man, I am really slipping today. Okay, we can go ahead and do that. We're not gonna put the bu bulletproof glass because they're expensive and it's not required to build it. It's like an armor for it. So, five displays and 15 computers. I believe we still have those in our inventory. Uh, let's see, 15 computers, displays should be, oh we got four. Really? Oh, why do you troll me game? Why do you troll me? I need one more display. Alright, I'll be back when I have that built. All right, cool. So I made the extra power or the extra display. I had to disassemble some things in order to do it. But yay! Okay, cool. The cockpit is built. All right, so now we have a cockpit. We have two working batteries and our connector to connect back up to the station in order to get it built. Or not built, but uh, um, I forgot the word I was looking for. To get it uh charged. There we go. So let me go ahead and get rid of this because we don't need it. Because this will block us from connecting to the main station. Okay. Oops. And now we need to build the wheels. So let's go to our wheels. Um, three by three should be more than enough. Five by five is way too big, and I think a one by one won't work right. Three by three left. Three. Do they actually separate these? Holy crap, that is brand new. I did not know they did this. Yeah, you got a 3x3 three three right and a 3x3 three three left. That is awesome. God dang, I did that again. <sighs> Alright, so, gee, um, I actually need grinder there. Let's go to the second tab, which I'm using for all my building stuff. Um, let's go left, right. So three are on the left side. Left side is over here. Let's put this right here. The sun is really blinding me. Sorry about that, guys. Um, hope they made this thing idiot-proof. Because I always get this thing backwards. What happens if I put it like that? Okay, I think that's the way it's supposed to go. Whoop. Why don't I have a wheel? Oh, come on. I think it's because I was in the way. Let's try that again. Yep. Okay. And then the fourth ones. Can bring you over here. Up. Oh, that's backwards. I always get these things backwards. Okay. Let's try that again. Flip you over. Yay! Yay! All right. Cool. Now all I have to do now is build these. Um, add a sensor to uh, so that we can see what's going on and we'll be good to go. Um, I'll be back when I get these wheels built. Alright, welcome back guys. Um, I am just about done getting the suspension parts done of these uh, wheels, um, but I'm going to build them one at a time so I can program them and I'll show you guys how to program these in case you're making your own ones. Okay, that wheel's done, so what we need to do is hop in here. Um, First off, I need to make sure I have my helmet on, which I do now, okay? Otherwise, I'm going to suffocate in here because there's no oxygen at the moment. You know, it says low. I guess it starts out with oxygen now. Well, whatever. Okay, so we got the first wheel done, and it is the right, it's the steering wheel. So what I usually do is I'll call this, um... Right steer, whoops, wheel. 
and then obviously make sure it's enabled on steering um let's see let's make this a little bit less 14 that sounds good and then we can play around with all this once we start actually moving it but power um power will determine like how much how much uh power goes to the shocks so the higher this is actually no no scratch that i said that wrong that's strength power will determine how much power goes to the wheels the higher this number the faster you can get up to speed friction determines like the friction of the wheels you know i just redundantly said that the higher this number is the more traction you have on the ground which can help you get up to speed but it might be hard to turn it so i tend to keep it a little low since i use all-wheel drive and then damping is how well the uh um shocks absorb the bumps i believe um i think that's what that is i might have to play around with that to let you know suspension travel let's see where this this shows you how much um, latency you have with the um, um suspension if it's 100 percent, then you can go from the top all the way to the ground if it's zero percent like it says um, it'll lock the suspension so it doesn't move which makes a really really rocky uh thing i'm probably gonna set that to like 50 percent um strength yeah let's put this up to 25 height offset um will tell you how high the axle height is so that lower this number the higher it is from the um um from the ground so obviously you can go in the negatives but still um let's see we're just gonna be playing around so 60 that'd be plenty okay and then obviously we have to do this for each wheel so let's do this one next so that we have the steering wheels done and then we go to control panel and since we know it's this one because the ones that are in red are still incomplete so this makes it easier to visualize which one it is steering wheel okay and then what I usually do is I'll group these together call them steering wheels and then let's just adjust this to 25 I said 25. I said, God dang it, 25. For controlling game. And now these things should be synced together. Because they're the same things now. All right, cool. Now we gotta build the back ones and do the same thing. And then I'll pretty much cut it until I get back there. So, and then I'll show you like other things I adjust. And I'll be back. Okay, welcome back. All right, so yeah, now I have all four of the wheels done. I labeled the back ones as a rear, so left rear, right rear, 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 blah, blah, blah. and um, obviously, oh, this one I think I forgot to. No, was it this one? Ah, whatever. But see, the rear ones don't have steering capability, so they can't rotate like the steering wheels can. And then I decided to group those two up. So if I ever want to adjust those and just the back ones, then we can. Um, speaking of which, this needs to go up to 25. And then all wheels, so if you want an adjustment on all the wheels, like let's say you want to increase or decrease the height of your vehicle, or you want to adjust all the suspension at the same time, then you can do it that way. Speaking of which, this isn't synced. There we go. Now they all should be synced. They all have the same... No, they don't. Huh. It must have been my bad. Let's do 50% of that. Okay, and I'm going to put... Uh, friction up to 25 alrighty so yeah that's how you program your wheels and then like if we do this and zoom in there we go and obviously I can't do anything because my wheels aren't built yet I forgot about that <laughs> anyways um, let me get those built real quick and I'll be right back one more time Alrighty, tires are all made, and I totally forgot when you make your tires, they start out as the default color, so I'll go ahead and teach you guys how to paint. So I already have my paint still set up to the other color. All you have to do is grab a normal block and hit your middle mouse button, and it paints them. So there we go. Everything is all nice and painted. And um, I believe I can play around with the wheels at the moment. Let me check that out. Yep, see, now they're going forward, and now the front ones are rotating. Good. 
So they're working the way we want them to. And I still can't set them down yet because there's a couple other things I want to make. I need to make a um, area for the sensor and headlights for the nighttime. So yeah, and I'm gonna have to get rid of this big sensor down here. I remember where it is. Is it you? Yep, you're the ore detector. I got rid of you because I am running out of materials. Hopefully this doesn't break anything too badly, and hopefully I have enough inventory to hold everything. Which looks like we do. Awesome. I could put another battery there. That more storage on the uh, main thing. I mean, I'm not planning to fly this thing around too much, but that is always an option. It's kind of like a temporary staging area until we actually get our base built. Okay, so now we build this. And I want to put it right here. Which is kind of bad for this. Dang, I should have put that in the middle. Oh well. Um, hmm. How do I want to do this? Because if I, if I destroy this, this is going to fall and our thing is going to be down. Which, you know, isn't a bad idea. The only problem is, like, hopefully it doesn't run away. Yeah, I can't park it until we get on the floor. Well, we can always do this, too. Like, oh, hey. I get to do this. Whee! When we destroy this, hopefully this will work right. Cool. All right, one more. Um, park. Cool. That worked. It worked awesomely. Oh god, it's moving. No. Come on, just stay right there, buddy. I'll get your back on the floor here in a second. There we go. Okay, that worked good. Not as amazingly as I wanted it to, but it worked. Uh oh, oh wow, we have way too much power. Okay, so now let me go ahead and quickly make these adjustments. So all wheels, let's reduce the amount of power to 15%. I said 15%? Not 16! 15! Son of a bleep off. Thank you. Okay. I think we have too much power in the back. Maybe we need more traction on the steering tires. See, th this is the part where you get to play around. Is, um, yeah, let's see. Steering wheels. Let's give it 40% traction. And just keep playing around till you get it working right. That's better, but we seem to... Okay, we're losing control way too easily. Maybe we need less traction up in front. Anyways, I'll be back once I get this working right. Alright, after a bunch of playing around, I think I finally got this thing to work right. It's still not working the best, but it'll work for now. Okay. At least now I can actually control it. I'm not the best driver in the world when it comes on these the rovers on this game, but I still need something that's, you know, decent. Okay, so now we need to destroy this and this. Make room for our sensor. What do you mean I need large steel tubes? The other one then give me large steel tubes? Ugh. This thing will be built sooner or later. Okay. Production, large steel tubes, give me. That should be the only thing I need. Okay. 
Okay. Wait, that's a... That's an ionic thruster? Game, you freaking lied to me. I thought that was an ore detector. Uh, that's prop. Yeah, whatever. I'll fix that in a minute. That is probably why I didn't have the right components. Because I was building the wrong freaking thing. Oh well. Problem solved now. So now we have that. Let's go to you. Okay. Wait. What? God, no! That's supposed to be you, and you're supposed to be you. Okay, there we go. We're all good. Now the only thing we need now is cargo containers that hook up to you. That way I can just grab everything from the back. And, um, lights, which we can put on top of the cargo containers. Or for the moment, we can just keep it like this. Because... The sun is going down. I thought the sun was going down this whole time. I think it's actually going up. Let me go check the solar panels. Because the sun's going up, they should be producing more power. Because their power, the amount of power they increase um, depends on the amount of power that's produced. Oh, hey, the freaking output thing is fixed right. God, then remember that I used to say like 60 kilowatts in the last episode? I couldn't figure out why. Well, I guess all I had to do is restart my computer. Who knows? Let's see, yeah, let's see, 36.31. Dang, that sun is going up slowly. Let's see, 41.5. That sun is going up very slowly now. All right, well, I waited for a while, and I can't tell if the solar panels are ma making more power. Usually this number was slowly going up, so it's probably because I have the sun set to go up very slowly. So it's probably going up at an angle to where it can't really tell if it's going up or not. Plus we're also up in the Arctic, so that's probably as high as it's going to actually go. <laughs> Which is cool. I mean, I've never played in the snow area, so that makes sense. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to go ahead and make the, um, um, the lights and the cargo things. And I'm going to do that off camera because uh, I think I'm a little bit over, over on my time. So next time when, we, when you guys come back, this rover will be finished. And then we can take it out for a spin and see if we can find some resources. Until next time, this is Captain Soban signing out.